oral questions. Question oral, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Merci beaucoup. Le 1er janvier. On January 1st, the government increases, increased taxes on government's paychecks. On April 1st, it also planned to increase taxes on gas, heating, and groceries. Now, housing prices have doubled. Grocery prices are at their highest inflation rate in 40 years. Canadians just aren't able to pay. Will the Prime Minister cancel these tax increases on seniors and workers? The Honourable Minister, I'd like to start by congratulating the Honourable Leader of the Opposition on his first question in this role. Throughout this session, you will see two competing visions. Our plan as a government to support Canadians who need it the most, and then the other option, the vision of the Conservative Party and members who don't care about Canadians. We've just seen more money for housing, the dental plan, and an increase in the TPS, in the GST credit, rather. That's money in the pockets of Canadians. Canadian. The minister says we don't care about Canadians, but who really doesn't care? The price of housing has doubled. Previously, Canadians could pay for housing with 32 percent of their paycheck, but that's gone up to 50 percent. Food prices are going up at the highest rate in 40 years. Canadians just can't pay for it. But this government wants to increase taxes on heating, on gas. Will this government do something to help Canadians pay their bills? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, let's talk about how people will be able to pay their bills. Thanks to our new dental care plan, there will be $1,160 for the GST for a single parent family, for seniors, $701, and for a couple with two children, $1,400. Mr. Speaker, we are here with a responsible plan to help Canadians where they are when they need it. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. We vaporized by inflation, which is costing families over $2,000 in extra costs. And that does not include the increased interest rate prices that people are paying on their mortgages. In fact, the average family could pay their housing bill with 32% of their paycheck every month. Now that's 50% after seven years of this Prime Minister in power. What's his solution? To raise taxes on paychecks with higher EI and CPP premiums that will shrink paychecks and higher taxes on gas, groceries and heat. Why won't they cancel these tax hikes so that Canadians can keep a roof over their heads? The Honourable Minister. It's important to talk about the fact that he's talking about EI and CPP, things that are important for people who've lost their jobs or for seniors when they're planning for retirement. But let's talk about real solutions, Mr. Speaker. We've brought in 13 agreements on childcare across the country. By the end of this year, families will be saving 50 percent. That's thousands of dollars that are going to help them with the high cost of living. That's real solutions, Mr. Speaker, that are making real differences in the lives of Canadians every single day. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The leader of the opposition can't even afford to have a family in the first place because they can't get out of their parents' basements or out of 400 square foot apartments after housing prices have literally doubled in this country under this prime minister. And now, with rising interest rates, which this government promised would not happen anytime soon, families have to spend 50 percent of their income just to keep a roof over their head, the highest in over three decades. And the solution from the Liberals? Higher taxes on gas, groceries and paychecks. Will they follow the Conservative demand and cancel all of these tax hikes on workers and seniors? The Honourable Minister. Uh, 
absolutely focused on the issue of housing affordability in this country. That is why we've put forward real solutions like the Housing Accelerator Fund, which is about increasing more housing supply. It's about also turning more Canadian renters into homeowners. It's about introducing the first-time home buyer tax credit and um, putting in place a first-time home buyer savings account to enable more young Canadians and others to access their dream of home ownership. We can take the leader of the opposition seriously on these issues because on every single tangible solution that we've brought forward that actually works, he's voted against it. Full leader of the opposition. They work to double the price of housing in this country and give us the, the second worst housing bubble of any country on planet Earth. Now, Canadians have had the cost they must pay for monthly housing bills go from 32% of their paycheck to 50% of their paycheck. And what's the Prime Minister's solution? To reduce their paychecks by taking a bigger bite out of them with higher payroll taxes. And he wants to raise gas taxes, home heating taxes, and indirectly the price of groceries by tripling the carbon tax. Will the government cancel these tax hikes so that Canadians can afford to eat, heat, and house themselves? The Honourable Minister for Tourism. Mr. Speaker, over the course of this session, you're going to see two competing visions. One, which shows our government doing what needs to be done for Canadians as they are facing higher inflation. And the other vision... We had started so well. I just want to continue and make sure that everybody knows that when somebody's talking, we normally stay quiet, listen, and then we can ask questions or answer after. The Honourable Minister for Tourism, please, from the top. Mr. Speaker, throughout this session, you're going to see two competing visions. One, where our government focuses on the needs of Canadians, Conservatives telling the country that they're on their own. Just today, we introduced two pieces of legislation that will add $500 top up on housing, that will double the GST credit, that will put in place a Canada dental benefit. Mr. Speaker, these are targeted measures to Canadians who need it the most, when they need it the most, and our hope on this side of the aisle is that the Conservative Party will support us to get these measures to people as soon as they need it.